these are very very important subject currently uh, many uh, job opportunities currently uh, higher than the traditional course but uh, they, exactly. they, they, they they are basically confused they are no, no, no. Uh, confused that, like that's, uh, why uh, that's why i'm telling they will definitely launch it but there are some official maybe some official uh, due to some official procedure it is taking some time maybe next in one and one next uh, one next couple of years you can see that they have also launched those courses and one thing i want to mention here like we are talking about the iits the pilates i am the alumni of isar kolkata so just telling i just want to mention one thing from the last year in 2019 isar also have launched computer science dsms program they launching the science domain but the the, the, the whole the stru- curriculum structure of those ba bsms courses is is the based on the data science and ai so you can see the one of the premier in science institute from india they have also introduced computer science courses keeping the data science and ai in their mind so it's not like that it's the top who, whom i cons- we consider in india as a premier institute they are ignoring they are strictly focusing on those courses if you see if you see the isar bhopal courses of isar bhopal this institute is basically science institute not the technology institute but you can see whatever the computer science curriculum they are providing they are putting the full full emphasis on data science and ai aspect i already mentioned about the triple it this year a lot of triple it have launched with a program specialization on data science and ai and i am telling you that other other universe other other technology institutes are already in the in the, they are already planning of launching those courses it may happen that due to some uh, covid scenario or some other ma- management issues it, it is getting some delayed but definitely in within one or two year you can see lot of advanced course courses will come up okay so it is it is it is a lot of not always uh, yeah yes yes sir. can we ask student like who are there in the meeting mm. when mm. uh, uh, this is a very crucial discussion is happening exactly. so exactly. Uh, because we have uh, so very very much crucial and may i i, th- I think we should uh, request our students who are there uh, yes, sure, 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 please, if please, they have please. any any question from that so i will request to, uh, sir, uh, sir uh, yes. Yes. i'm dr pranav Can I open, yes. can I open uh-huh. to ask this particular question in any language? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Please, please, feel free to talk to me in English. Can you hear me? Yes, yes. Ah, yes, yes. 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 Yes,
and PhD programs also, PhD in computer science. So all these, this is uh, there because we want to complete the cycle. The students who are entering the university who have the aspirations to study uh, BTEC in computer uh, science, but with specializations like this, AI, ML, data science, cyber security, so that they can pursue their studies. If they want to go for higher studies like MTEC, they can do that. The same three fields we are keeping in MTEC. I'm taking data science, I'm taking AI ML, I'm taking cyber security. And then after that, they can also do pursue PhD here and complete their PhD degree. So that is our main objective. And so as you understand, to deal with or to carry on all these courses, definitely there will be a very good set of faculties and we are planning for that also. Hope this has answered your question. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I am very clear. Thank you, okay. sir. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. So I, I have one another question. Tell me. Sir, can you tell me about, uh, sir, I am asking to sir Mukhopadhyay, sir, can you tell yes, me about yes, full yes, stack yes, web please, development? Please. Sir, can you yeah. tell me about full, full stack web development? Well, so full, definitely there are good job opportunities in the full stack web development. But if you compare between 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 the full stack web development demand with MLAI and cyber security. So this 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 has the more emphasis you see. Full stack web development is basically blossoming from the from the traditional computer science courses. OK, because the people who have the already the traditional computer science courses in the BTEC domain, they, 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 they do not have any. I have not seen any do anyone has any problem in the whenever whenever they are, they are deployed in the job of full stack web development, whether they are working in any top notch startup or they are working in, in, in any other top most companies. I ne never seen, I have never seen anybody is facing any kind of problem in, in, in full stack web development. At least in my observation, my a lot of my known people are there in the full stack web development. But if you consider uh, the job job market or uh, the, the higher salary range also, apart from those companies, I have mentioned those company names. But if you look at the average salary package also, in the AI ML domain, if you, if you look at look, look after that, that is obviously also very very high. And let me tell you one thing, that uh, even the demand is so much, the demand is so much, even in the management people in BBA MBA courses, you can you have seen in my affiliation that I am also myself is the faculty of business analytics, so. Even in the field of BBA MBA, people are also studying AI ML. They are exploring AI ML in the domain of business. That's why the course name is Business Analytics. So being an engineering student, it is the right time for you to adapt it because not only because of a lot of job opportunities, but average salary range is also high. And this is the future. You see, I am not I, I am not demotivating anybody if anybody have any interest in any other domain. OK, it's not like that, but I am putting some emphasis of the current need. You, you try to understand because nowadays you can see even the management people are also coming in the data analytics domain. OK, in the, in the, in the top notch data analytics domain, because do you see that the demand is so much high and you see if you don't adapt yourself from now with this, this kind of technological advanced technological courses, you will be under very deep travel in near future because because you see the current job demand is is that and it is already evolving. OK, in, 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 in next in next five years, the scenario will be changed hugely because you see now you guys are in 2020. Whenever you will pass out in 2024. I mean, the lot of lot of things will change. OK, a lot of scenarios will change. Definitely other jobs will be there, but but you see clerical job will be demolished completely. I'm very sorry to say, but it is the fact. OK, clerical job will be demolished in every domain, right from the healthcare sector to agriculture to um, like I've also mentioned about the cyber security you know, during the online transactions. There are also the need of data science and analytics. People are also there. So in every domain, you only can see because there will be data data. The simple logic is that the data are stored digitally. So you will require whether it is web mining, whether it is some other way, data mining everywhere. You can see there will be only the need of data scientists, data analytics. They will be in everywhere. Even you, see, we must have heard about the robotic process automation. So this robotic process automation is one of the tools. Okay. Nowadays, for example, let me discuss with you one one a good example of the robotic process automation. RPA has this. In short, it is called RPA. Okay. I am using the abbreviated form RPA. Okay. RPA stands for robotic process automation. So RPA replaced business process automation in 2014. 
now you see what is happening if you don't go for the advanced courses in india for example in top most company in india i am not taking anybody's name because of to avoid the controversy issue so one of the top most company in india they have taken the project from japan okay so what happened when they took the project from japan they require 3 lakh expert throughout the india who can work on the rpa domain 3 lakh experts okay they are giving the very high salary package but unfortunately in our indian universities due to not having those advanced courses advanced courses what is happening they only found throughout india when they need the they had the need of 3 lakh people they only found 250 250 people who are expert in robotic process automation who are only expert in robotic process and only 250 people can you imagine they have the need of 3 lakh people they only found 250 people so this is this kind of scenarios happen jobs are there but if you don't meet the current demand of of, of the market you will not be able to grab those things now this robotic process automation due to, due to ai so mukunda i have to so mukunda i have to add sorry to interrupt i have to add one no. thing here as sure. you rightly mentioned This is uh, one company called Blue Prism. I think um, uh, our professor, honorable exactly. professor, also will uh, uh, exactly. allow me to say Blue this. Blue Prism. Uh, company Blue Prism. So we are already uh, tied up with them. So we have already introduced one of the elective paper um, in, of, on robotic process automation in association with them. So uh, we are we are uh, thinking on the direction to meet this you know manpower demand. You are rightly pointed out that. Thank you so okay. much. thank you thanks for thanks for your valuable addition so already have uh, uh, listened that already into uh, tnu has already introduced one uh, one uh, 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 combined courses on the robotic process automation i'll with blue prism blue prism is one of the leading companies in this domain actually who provides all uh, robotic process automation services so uh, now you see due to ai this robotic process automation is evolving as an intelligence process automation so when you um, will be about to complete your btech degree by 2024 so by 2023 2024 this course will all, i mean this ipa will already be in the market this is also based on the ai so people who have those advanced btech degree they will also be eligible for that job also intelligence process automation so what is what i am telling um, i am trying to tell you that that companies in india are trying to uh, take up the all the international projects but those international projects required the advanced courses or curriculums you, but students if you don't have those exposure right from the btech level okay it, it is not the matter of a single semester try to understand this ai ml uh, data science is a very vast field okay you require like 6 to 7 semester of rigorous study already our our respected professor has mentioned that the course is about this, i mean the focused on the 7 semester out of the 8 semester totally dedicated to 7 semester on the study of the data science ai so if you right from the beginning if you don't go for those courses you will not be able to take up those job like i mentioned that in 2017 18 they have faced the issue Uh, and then the, that 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 particular company that they required 3 lakh people they only got 250 experts so it may happen in again in 2023 2024 when the intelligence process automation will come up they will definitely bring some projects from some advanced countries and that you can fill the same scenario so you, you can see that due to uh, not having the pro- adequate knowledge lot of people are becoming the jobless because of those reasons even after the, uh, pursuing the btech people after people are not getting the jobs that that is happening because you you are not meeting the need of the advanced curriculum or advanced structures and one thing i want to mention that i know in india people have lot of imp- puts lot of emphasis on the government organizations but you see if you look 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 us like for example mit harvard stanford all are the private universities they are the leading universities okay so you do, should not always rely on that that if some government university is not doing or introducing certain courses it does not mean that 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 that, that, that some part, part private universities can can do that definitely can tnu has already taken taken those initiative we should appreciate that that uh, that in from west bengal they have already taken those courses so these are the right times if you can embrace those advanced technology you will definitely be benefited lot of lot of companies are there who are who are actually looking for those those uh, those uh, those students who are actually adapt with those new new technologies and new 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 uh, to technologies and tools sir mukhopadhyay so any anything uh, professor mukhopadhyay yes sir yes, yes one sir. i think one person has raised his hand shashank ah, mondol yeah, yeah, shashank mondol uh, please right. please shashank
Shango, please unmute yourself and please ask the question. Shango. Sir, I have joined the session late, so can I get the recorded video or can I get a brief uh, introduction of uh, whatever has been done uh, previously? Recorded video I will share with you, but right now do you have any question like uh, whatever discussions are going on? Sir, actually I have... Uh, First of all, joined... introduce yourself. Please, will you please introduce yourself? Um, sir, I am Shashank Mandal. I am from Rachi Jhakhan. Okay. I, um, I have passed uh, class 12. Uh, from Delhi Public School, Variyatu, uh, CBSD board. So, what is your interest? Which subject? Sir, I have interest in computer science. So, any specialization? We are talking about specialization here. So, have you heard anything about the specialization today, or you have just joined? Uh, sir, I have just joined. That's why. Right. Okay, so, what is your question, please? You want the recording? Apart from that, or sir, uh, can I get a brief introduction or any? Um, what's the Previously, what has been said or uh, anything which I can get from the previous uh, these minutes or what has been done from starting. So, so I, go, let no, me tell that, you, if you go to our Facebook, it is getting recorded. Okay, you can find everything from over there. Okay, sir. Uh, can you please share? Share what? Facebook ID? <laughs> He is disconnected. Shashanko is disconnected, I think. Oh. Oh. Also, those who have joined late, you can simply go to the Facebook page of at the New yeah. University uh, and then so just I check the, the live is going on there. So you can just go to the uh, previous session, what is happening. You can, you can get the idea from there. So let us uh, have Professor Mukhavadda, let him complete Professor Mukhavadda and then the further questions you can take, I think. I think that will be okay, no? Okay, so should I start? I mean, yes, should I continue? Please, uh, okay. Yes, please. Okay, because we are running out. Because we are, uh, we are already... This so already we have minutes. discussed about the, the companies in this domain. So, uh, for example, now if you see the companies hiring in data analytics domain already, uh, for example, uh, Tech, Tech Minda is there, PwC, Deloitte, okay, the Accenture, KPMG. So there are a lot of options. You see, uh, if we talk about the data analytics, uh, for example, in companies uh, in artificial intelligence and machine learning, Microsoft, uh, Google, Facebook. Already we have mentioned that. I mean, TCS. So these are the only leading companies who are hiring. I mean, in the, in the, if you see in the artificial intelligence and machine learning domain. Now, for example, if you see the companies working in the cyber security domain, you can see that they, uh, that for example, Deloitte, PwC, Casper uh, uh, Sky, Quickel. Uh, so these are the good companies who are already hiring in this particular domain. Now, if we if you see, I have uh, deliberately put this uh, put the slide with the new TR University tab such that you can understand this course is dedicated to new university so basically this is a four year course so you see um, in the btech -B -B degree their specialization offered are the uh, cyber security data analytics artificial intelligence and machine learning the basic uh, eligibility is about 10 plus 2 level with physics uh, mathematics chemistry or computer science with 60 percent marks in aggregate so uh, as, a, as a common requirement selection criteria obviously performance in in the TNU entrance test conducted by the university students must note that they have to qualify qualify uh, qualify both test one and test two of the entrance or WBJ or J main, main course so these are the common requirements uh, so now if, uh, let, let me go to the next slide <coughs> Now, for example, like already uh, our honorable uh, professor mentioned about the MTech and PhD courses, uh, you see those who are interested for the higher studies also at the new the new university is also providing you those, those opportunities as well in case of the uh, to pursuing artificial intelligence, machine learning, cyber security, data science, and for example in the in your masters MTech, and all, you also have the opportunities for it for for PhD pursuing PhD in this domain as well. Okay, so. 
uh, let me go to go to from uh, now you may ask one questions that uh, that what what is my own exposure in this domain that wow, how, how i can probably say that this field is going to help you because you see apart from uh, obviously i i got some success success in this domain and apart from that i also was in the industry in a brief period of time as a data scientist and you can see from my affiliation that already i am connected with several companies who are all the data driven companies and they take a consultancy from me so basically uh, so that's why when i i did it i i did it uh, for example now 5 6 years back from that particular time so in that time in india there was not much exposure on this domains but still still uh, still if we can get this success i believe it will definitely inspire you that in 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 the standing in 2020 and when you will pass out the, your btech in 2024 you will get get the more exposure in this domain so for example i am i am sharing one of the uh, one of few, few those those success stories with you like uh, i we, we have explored ai and artificial intelligence for example in the diabetic retinopathy detection and those 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 high, those success has been highlighted in the televisions like g news urisa tv yahoo yeah, news okay this has been highlighted in always also in the leading newspapers like the hindu business standard indian express economic times all the leading newspapers from the india okay so uh, and also for example our cancer research success which has been highlighted in the hindu business standard the indian express okay so this is all are the basically exploring ai data science uh, in in this in this particular uh, in in the healthcare domain our research success also has been included in the syllabus of ibps ies upsc exam so <clears throat> these are the basically my social media handle if you want to join me you can you can directly connect with me whether it is the twitter facebook or linkedin everywhere i am available so thank you very much to, i am thankful to professor sir and the techno india university i uh, sorry the the neoti university for giving me the opportunity to share some views on the career career guidance towards 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 the students and the guardians And 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 very sorry to show you the slides in this way rather than this slide. So, because those are those who have joined initially, they have seen there was some problem in the I think in the in the network connectivity issues due to the due to going the share mode. It is not reflecting on your on your screen what I am what I am sharing. So that's why I, as as an alternative to it, I have to go for it. Thank you the technical guidance from the Newt University. So, is there any questions? Because I believe that I have already covered what are the basic differences between the traditional computer science courses and the advanced computer science courses. What are the job markets? And obviously, also my personal experiences while pursuing pursuing my my field of research in this domain or or or, or whatever the industrial and uh, industrial success we got. But so I believe that this 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 definitely will give you some 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 inspiration because you see if we can get make those things during 2016-17 uh, or 2015 you can easily easily get those success in the in the in standing in 2020 because lot of resources lot of a uh, lot of new things are coming up and like already the platform I am sharing with you that Newt University is also introducing new courses in BTEC and BTEC. PhD. So everywhere they are, they are trying their best to deploy those new courses. So it is, it is. Do, do not always compare with the, with the always Indian premier universities that what they are doing because they will definitely introduce. But it. The Kanpur will do it in fast. Not the other. It's not always the right thing to think think in this way. They are. because everybody has their own expertise anybody can come with new courses and definitely i can understand your concern regarding the regarding the faculties but already our our good uh it's now up to you what what the career choices you want to make but i believe that that these advanced courses will definitely definitely going to help you to uh, to stuff your career for sure so okay now we can i think take the questions from the audience i guess sir hello sir hello uh, yes sir vasudev hello vasudev okay yes yes ah. yes please vasudev uh, sir uh, i have another question uh, some of our students uh, asked me uh, after uh, counseling after counseling of the uh, traditional course as well as advanced course they asked me so which one is better uh traditional course or the advanced course like aiml uh cyber security data analytics which one which one uh, is better and uh, which one will uh, they will choose 
currently actually this type of question i have already and already i think i think we have already in our university in our university our university provides three advanced courses as well as one traditional computer science and courses right some of the students are asked me which one is better well now now you see because they don't know they don't know because they they have seen Uh, like this type of advanced courses and traditional course because a uh, lot of the students uh, from traditional course they they are getting job uh, they are working and uh, they are working good position they are earning more more money not only in india uh, uh, and uh, abroad also so they are asking which one is better currently because uh, well, we well. have provide we, we, we have we are uh, we are providing three uh three uh, advanced courses out of them which one is better well you see that uh, look uh, for example we are putting emphasis on the advanced courses we are not saying that those who have done the traditional courses btech they are they, they are not doing good it's not like that we have shared some examples that after even after getting this starting with the successful career but after 10 12 years of their even their experiences they, they are struggling because of those they do not have the exposure of those advanced courses and how the people the top top indian companies who, who have taken take, taken up the new advanced advanced projects but due to having lack of expertise they are not getting the adequate manpower so those are the scenarios we have highlighted and that's why we have we have focused we are trying to tell the students that if you if they can go for the if they have interest in pursuing the career in data science or data analytics domain or cyber security domain there are three three advanced courses available in also new delhi universities providing that so they may take up as per their interest any of those courses because those three courses have a lot of potentials okay each of those each of those okay, sir, 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 sir i know but one okay. of them who you need to do professor alder professor alder you see what the specialization courses what are the advantages what are the benefits? we have also a course that is computer science and engineering tradition and that is also important important in the sense maybe some people do not go for these new things maybe they have some reservation they like to go for traditional things yes traditional things job opportunities are there right but the thing is that what is that mukhwan uh, just tried to say is that these specialization these cutting edge areas technologies are the very very that in future but uh, this computer engineering the traditional things they will be there but the job scope and limited some limited also right but uh, people can with the experience they can survive but we but these are uh, because we are focusing more on the specialization people who are interested mainly because a lot of people are interested in the specialization areas so let them give the opportunity because we are giving them the opportunity in eastern india to study these courses at the same time if people are willing to join the traditional courses if they want to do something maybe in some common computer science engineering uh, career like, like even in teaching also they can pursue t- teaching in ca- computer science and engineering uh, after studying wow. these uh, traditional courses because that will even in schools and colleges lot of computer science openings are there msc computer science bsc computer science so there the specialization may not be required much but at the same time they should keep in mind that in the curriculum also the traditional computer science curriculum these subjects are gradually being incorporated otherwise people will get back data so there is no nothing to uh, in, there is no interference between the specialization and generalization right so students should be actually they should not be especially the students they should, can be clearly told that this is the scenario in future these things are very much required so if you have this uh, if you have this expertise in the specialization then lot of job opportunities are there at the same time the generalization courses are available okay so there are many traditional software maintenance of the applications maybe there may be some traditional software which are running say in banks or some maybe mainframe system or like that those requires the traditional knowledge also so they are they can get maybe the their scope becoming limited right 
So I think this answers the questions. Uh, so, all the questions we have in mind regarding the students and other things. If there is any other, somebody has raised his hand. I find. Uh, yes, I would like okay. to add uh, one more point, if you allow. I would like to add one more point regarding the traditional and these. Uh, Uh, cutting edge technology that we are talking about so if you are talking about the traditional courses i feel uh, that the basics are always required okay so even if you are talking about the cutting edge technologies like we are talking about ai ml cyber security yes they are the booming fields for sure they are uh, needed currently but uh, we cannot ignore the fact that always built upon the basics so the traditional course form forms the basis of those technology it is uh, professor ruchi yes what i can add here hello can you hear me so yes i can yeah because uh, for your knowledge for the students also i am saying in our curriculum the specialization courses we are talking about what uh, professor mukhopadhyay was saying from second semester up to eighth semester this uh, at least up to seventh semester we are, there is there are specialization subjects but at the same time we are keeping the core subjects right the core subjects the traditional subjects like data structure algorithms db database management system then operating system networking then uh, certain programming languages these were there are there and will be there right so yes, these sir, are yes. covered don't nothing to worry so we are creating like to build up our students so that they, we are trying to give the best education to our students so that they can appear in the competitive exam, examinations also like gate right get another competitive exam higher services engineering services also all these things even net slate all these exams so those we are equipping our students at the same time we are we are making themselves ready industry ready with this specialized knowledges yes okay. exactly As, sir, my point exactly so yeah. yeah so i think this has cleared the doubts if there is any other uh, questions apart from these areas to, about two red sessions sir, uh, sir this is because time is short right yeah sir, uh, this is dr polomi dash i wanted to add here with your kind permission if you permit yes. me to uh, yes. add something uh sir uh, most of the students are asking about job that whether they will get job whether there are more opportunity of getting job with specialization so uh, most of the students are nowadays very much aware with the google uh, google and uh, they can google uh, my information i i have got this information from google and uh, from my experiences that uh, the specialization uh, the, the students with the specialization or people with the specialization always get the better opportunity because nowadays you can find students can find in google that data analysts are getting the highest package it is always um, come in google Uh, and the cyber security i will add here that my own cousin is in um, american banking company goldman sachs very much well known banking company and he is in cyber he is from cyber security domain working on ethical hacking and for the artificial intelligence and machine learning i will say that when we we, we google some information about artificial intelligence or some job opportunities regarding artificial intelligence we can see that most of the openings in the uh, research, research and development sections and the scholarships are uh, required uh, required um, Uh, session required uh, knowledge for artificial intelligence and machine learning so i think uh, with all the basic uh, knowledges of computer science and engineering as you said operating system networking software engineering and uh, much more subjects basic subjects are there and apart from that specialization is also there to uh, survive in this uh, uh, very challenging situation of job market job market so i think tathagata naman sir sir may i request tathagata yes tathagata naman aman okay one by one please yes sir aman aman sir okay uh, sir i am beginner for ai to how to learn the step by step the low level to how uh, upper level to in ai i am second year student so i doesn't uh, uh, ai Uh, please tell me, sir. Is that clear? The voice. Can Professor Mukwad hear it? Professor Mukwad. The 
uh, the voice is not clear although i have heard about he was mentioning some steps regarding the landing of ai i think i think as per i have heard he low want to, clear, to low level to high level we are talking about right? it okay so uh, just just as a as a, as, a, as a, when you were starting so basically definitely go through the probability and statistics properly right one of, one of our ma'am ruchi sharma already have mentioned that the basics are already already important so basics are always important so standard algebra okay these are the very basics uh, whenever we are starting so then gradually it will always better look the artificial intelligence is not always about to getting the higher accuracy what you are predicting but it also deals with some uh, time complexity factor is there so better to have a good hold on a data structure okay so make make strong make make, make try to make your sub strong in data structure then gradually start with basic aspects of machine learning linear regression uh, logistic regression then gradually go to the super supervised and unsupervised classifiers once you get the good hold on the machine learnings for example support vector machine decision trees then gradually gradually start exploring in the domain of deep learning as well so these are the these are the logistics but first of all make sure that you, you have you have a very good hold on the linear algebra mainly mainly in the in the, in the matrix point of view basically eigen value eigen vector calculations so these are these are the very very basics in anywhere you will go for the appearing for the job interview people will You always ask you some basic questions. Okay, so once you once you are able to answer those basic questions, then they get will they they will get some confidence on you. Even you may show some high level of projects, but if you can't answer some basic questions, then it will be very 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 difficult for you to grab those jobs. So make sure that the basics you know, automatically other things will come up. Okay, it will it will not be much much uh, difficult to understand those things, but make sure you know the basics rightly. So Aman can uh, ask the next question. Aman, Aman Chaudhuri, please unmute yourself and please ask. Aman. AI side is yes, yes. AI side is which type of job is got in the future? Uh, which type of job? I I don't have idea about AI. How many type of job we are get? Okay, so you are asking about the job job yes. patterns or job yes. type job types. Yes. Hello. Well, so already we would have told that that for data analytics and data scientist options are there in the market. You see, for example, all the companies, lot of noise is coming up. I don't know what's up. Okay, thank you, thank you. Tathagato, you can ask question, raise question. Tathagato. Hi sir, can you hear me? Yes, yes. Please go. Carry on, Tathagato. Sir, what is the main difference between data science, big data, and data analytics? Good, very good question. Right. <laughs> Well, so that's a very, very, very good question. So you see, the thing is that the basically the data analytics is the job you are talking about. So what will happen in domain? In certain domain, there will be some data. Okay, you will upload in the cloud. You will analyze them and interpret them. It's not about the analysis, but also the interpretation. So that's why domain-wise expertise is always important. It's not like that the way you will deal with the healthcare data. You can deal the same with for the agriculture or any other domain data. So domain-wise, some expertise is also required. So that happens whenever whenever you work on those domains, some back background information related to data, or or some collaborations with that certain companies or certain experts who can guide you in the interpretation purpose. That is also important. So those things are there. The basically the focus was on analysis, but in data scientists, data science. Scientist is not about only the analysis, but along with that, what happens? For example, like I told you that it's not only about the accuracy, but it's also about the time complexity. How you can develop certain algorithms? Because you see, you can do the data analysis with with available tools. But the the job of the data scientist is not about the analysis, but along with provides some for platforms. And that's why, if you, whenever you you may you may also do the Google search nowadays, people use the deep learning architectures, for example, Keras, TensorFlow, PyTorch. The new models, new upgradations are coming up because of the contribution of the data scientists. Okay, and big data. Now, big data is also uh, you see that that basically there is no limit of the data. I mean, um, may, may, what is medium-sized data? What is big data? Okay, the why they are called the big data experts because of the reason is that you see every every day the data set is getting doubled. Okay, so what is that? What that implies? 
you can see the exponential growth growth of the databases okay and and that's why what is happening you see there are there are a lot of lot of data i mean you can see databases are also evolving okay nowadays we you can't do what what you were studying in the traditional databases rdbms it is not the or not the not the not the matter of rdbms nowadays if you study the non linear data structure you will come to know about the graphs so those graph theory applications are there in the graph databases facebook for example facebook linkedin they all uses the graph databases now the data storing of the huge amount of the abundance of the data those terabyte those picobytes of the data in those databases and you have to analyze them so there are a lot of tools are available for example hadoop okay and so uh, and, and 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 other any other any other the, the, the top notch tools so you have to analyze them so there are a certain basic amount of the differences but it's it, but big data definitely is it, it also comes under the uh, domain of the data scientists but there are ranges of the data set which you are dealing with because to having those 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 terabytes or picobytes of data so to deal with them you require certain tools or methodologies you have to be expertise on hadoop okay those kind of stuffs because i am not going to much technical i am trying to keep it in lucid way because you are all, you all are only the 10 plus 2 level but try to but for your understanding purpose uh, that that that's that that's the basic aspects the job in a nutshell i am repeating data analysis will only do the data analysis okay data scientist is not only about the data analysis but also developing the algorithms behind that such that the time complexity they can reduce the time complexity for example you may have at that you in the desktop or desktop you get the support of gpus right but what about if you want to do the computational processing through your mobile so by your common sense you know you can you can understand and that the same processor power you have in the desktop it will not be in the mobile phone so what will happen how can how the tricky ways you can use your algorithm to run on your mobile phone so these are the job of the data scientists to develop those algorithms and for the big data aspects you see i told you that the the database growth is exponential so we can't put any certain byte certain amount of the byte as a threshold that this is medium size this is small size this is big data because growth is exponential what you are observing today after 10 days you may see oh god where i was there and now where i am landing up because exponential growth every day it is getting double and now you see that's why there are a lot of new databases are coming up to 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 store those data like i mentioned about the graph database one of those examples okay so and that's why the traditional databases are becoming uh, becoming obsolete day by day in the in the current market scenario okay but whenever you will start definitely you have to start first the traditional databases and then there comes up certain tools or methodologies to process them for example hadoop and all those things are there okay so this is the aspects but obviously these all are the correlated with each other okay and and for your information purpose it's not only about the technologists who deal with the big data people from the management backgrounds who are who are also exploring in the business analytics they are also using they are they are, they are also know the know the big data and they are exploring their good hands in this domain but job opportunity is huge for example i mentioned about the graph database okay so under the big under the big data domain there is other there is a separate demand on the graph database as well in the market for example companies like new 4j facebook linkedin everybody is hiring on that so immense amount of the job potentials and demands are there if you know the subject properly you don't have to bother about those those jobs there will be immense amount of the opportunities in the market huge need i believe i have a uh, question uh, can i add one more valuable thing Yes, uh, please, please, sir. Uh, sir, actually, Tata uh, Goto, you hear me? Yes. Okay, yes, I actually, could hear you. Uh, I'm giving a very simple example in there. Okay. When you fill up this particular form, you fill the, you got some particular fields where you write down some names and the required data. That means your name, your uh, 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 email ID, phone number, all like this. so it's a traditional database but okay. if you think about the facebook so lots of lots of databases are there you can post your comment as well as you can also post your pic picture pictures so we have to handle with both the data both the type of data so this one previous one where you filled up the form this one is called the structured data and where you cannot 
maintain the structure where you cannot maintain the structure that is called unstructured data or semi structured data so all are all are coming under the that big data analysis big data part at least from example can you get uh, what is the is uh, i think punam there are other questions also so we can yes yes sir. we are running out of time okay so is there any, somebody has raised hand oh no madam is there but sir any student is uh, having any questions so one one last doubt can i ask one la yes yes please Yes, sir. Uh, sir, one I have one last. Sir, I have heard about AWS. Sir, what is that AWS? That is Amazon Web Service. Can you tell me in short? And as a beginner, can you understand me that thing? Well, so basically, AWS is Amazon 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 Web Service. These all are the basically cloud-based platform. You see, they, whenever you will study about the cloud uh, cloud cloud analytics, cloud computing, you will know that there are certain, uh, for example. certain business models software as a service infrastructure as a service platform as a service so they all these all are the platforms they are they are they are providing those kind of the subscription basis charges for example if i if i if i mention you about one simple example if we have developed some uh, some some smartphone based smart smartphone based app okay which can de- which can detect the skin diseases now you see you have provided the app to doctor doctor is doing the screening and 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 getting the detection by through the software okay this is this is called software as a service plus subscription base you are providing the charges in the same way in the aws we are providing certain certain services on the basis of the some subscription charges that they are making you have, you have heard about the netflix you have heard about the hoichoi so all those are the platforms they are providing some entertainment mod- module to you on the basis of that you provide some yearly basis charges so basically these are the models which are evolved on the dev- because of the cloud 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 service benefits okay so and also in 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 those areas in the aws you are talking about aws netflix which they also had that that had the data scientist data analyst they also required that cloud architect okay to to handle handle those databases and do the proper analytics whether they are they are they are their certain sites are platforming performing well or not thank you sir thank you sir i understood that thing thank you sir shashank so, do not worry Uh, um, I just want to just one interruption. The students who have any questions or doubt, I think I can believe that within this platform, all of your queries uh, queries cannot be cannot be done. So I am as I shared my uh, my details uh, social media details. My name is Subhasachi Mukhopadhyay. You can join me on Facebook. You can write, raise your question on my Facebook page. You can join me in Twitter. Everywhere I am available. You can post your question in LinkedIn also. I am there. I I, I will I will I will resolve all of your queries. I can understand. Being the 10 plus 2 level, it is not always been. able to whatever we are saying that you are you may not be able to understand everything but you do not worry whenever you require you just drop a text there i will definitely try to answer all of you okay okay please sir carry on sir <coughs> there Thank are no more questions i think i think is there i think today let us i think close the thing because with formal thanks in ceremony we will close down because we have done with all the questions is there any more hands i think as professor mukhopadhyay said if there are further questions anything comes up in your mind please sh- share that thing with mr mukhopadhyay he will try to answer your questions in future also right so i will yes, now request polomi uh, just to uh, call yes, yeah for uh, yes. closing the thing and uh, giving the formal vote of thanks to professor yes. mukhopadhyay yes thank you very much professor mukhopadhyay for your informative and, and overwhelming speech i am sure our beloved participants learned a lot from your speech and finally we conclude with that we that we need the basic computer science subjects as well as the specialization so i am sure all the participants are now enriched with the knowledge shared by professor mukhopadhyay now i request our head of the department dr pranam pal sir to give vote of thanks thank you polomi uh, i want to thanks very much i want to give a very uh, a thanks to professor subhashish mukhopadhyay i think our honorable speaker for his nice such a talk and the informative speech i also want to thank professor 
Sir Bishwajit Ghosh, our visitor, for his motivation. Uh, I want to thank Dr. Shushanta Mitro, our provisor, for inviting this particular Shobhachari uh, Mukhubadhyay. I want to thank Professor Bhattudev Haldar for organizing this such kind of session. I want to give a big thanks to the Polomi to hosting this one very smoothly. I also give a thanks to Professor Ruchi Sharma for writing this report to take his own shoulder. This is responsibility. I want to thank the Bilas for all over his help. I want to mention the name of the Mr. Onirban Dasgupta, Prashanto Devnath, Devdas, Subendu Kumar for promotioning this one. And I also want to thank Mr. Turapal and the Obhijit Das, Mr. Obhijit Das, for promotioning this one and helping uh, us a lot. I also want to thank all the teachers and staff without whom it is not possible. Lastly, but not the least, I want to, first I want to congratulate all the students who actually pass out 10 plus 2 levels or the polytechnic levels and for his uh, coming future. I want to thank, lastly, to them. Without them, this one is totally invalid or insignificant. Thank you. Over to Polomi. Thank you very much, sir. Ma now I request... Ma'am, ma 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 one, one, one simple addition, if you allow me, because Mr. Ritupono Bhattacharji, I think we may, uh, should for mention his name because he uh, wholeheartedly supported us and make the event Facebook live and live and all the technological support from Mr. Ritupono Bhattacharji. Thank you, Mr. Ritupono. Sorry, sir. Uh, I also want to thank the Ritupono Bhattacharji. Thank you very much, sir. Now I request our respected Pro VC sir to announce the program end. Okay. First of all, I again give uh, my heartiest thanks to Professor Shobhushachi Mukhavadhyay, all the dear students who have joined this session and make it a very, very lively and interactive one. We have a lot of questions. We have um, Professor Mukhavadhyay and we all try to give their answers to their queries. But anyway, the queries never ends and especially for these young minds. So I will request them as earlier also, you can contact Mr. Professor Mukhavadhyay if necessary, wherever you want to. But uh, with this, I will come to, a, we are coming to a closure of this session. My th sincere thanks to all of our uh, members who have wholeheartedly supported. And yes, rightly, Mr. Bhattacharya, <coughs> Mr. Uh, Vitupanda Bhattacharya, whom we have missed, Mr. Dash has rightly pointed out, he has made a lot of contributions to arranging this Facebook Live because this is the thing we have seen. In future also, and we like to see Professor Mukhwadda in sessions also in, for the students, more, more academic sessions where the, about the subjects in detail that is all our wishes. With this, I thank you all of you and so formally we are closing this session. Thank you. Thank you, Professor.